Oh my god, I plucked one of my eyebrows earlier and I went a bit too high and now I just look permanently surprised. Oh dear, <laughs> it's not embarrassing. Cool. Anyway, hi everyone. It is Bank Holiday Friday, which I found out literally about 0.25 seconds ago when I went to the post office and they were shut and I couldn't work out why. Good starts of the day, I know. But yeah, it's Bank Holiday Friday. Uh, bank holidays are literally the most alien thing to me, as you can probably tell by the fact that I did not know it was one. I have no concept of when they are. I'm aware we're looking a bit orange right now. Bear with me. Just trust the process. This foundation's a little bit dark for me, but once it's all on my skin and blended out, it looks really good. It gives me the healthy glow that I don't actually have right now, but so desperately want and need. So although I have absolutely no concept of bank holidays, uh, I am getting ready at a very leisurely time today because we have one of those social occasions today where it really is like the vibe to kind of show up on time. So I am getting ready nice and early uh, so that at least if we are late, I cannot be to blame and my getting ready time cannot be to blame for this. Wow, oh my God, this foundation just looks so good once it starts to settle into my skin, like it, just has the perfect amount of glow i think because my skin is oilier a matte foundation is definitely like a better option for me it just gives a much more flawless look i was watching the last vlog back when i was editing it yesterday and it really did make all the difference and i just don't need to powder as much which is amazing i love that big big fan of this at the moment if i want uh, a slightly darker matte foundation and then i've been using the Givenchy prism libra if i want like a more everyday matte this is more like glam matte this is more everyday it's got a little bit more luminosity to it it's just stunning it's like the most creamy matte foundation i've ever used it really is just so beautiful on the skin and then for my concealer i've been using the Givenchy prism libra skin caring concealer and i'm a big fan of this it's like natural and soft and creamy it's like the best coverage but without being drying and there are even some creamy uh like textured concealers um that are known for like being good for like not being drying and i still find them drying and to give me a little bit of like texture just like they're not they're not the most flawless finish whereas that one is so flawless big big fan and then also going over my base with the merit beauty uh bronzing stick which i'm obsessed with at the moment just there is not a day that goes by where this isn't in my makeup routine even if i'm doing like no makeup and i'm just putting like spf on i just pop a little bit of this on over the top and it just is so nice and natural and just really creamy really hydrating just gives the nicest like softest glow and bronze to the skin big big fan anyway makeup chat aside i am excited to have finished up work for the day and to just be like getting ready we're going to an engagement party for our friends george and lily which will be really lovely though i must admit i have got the biggest craving right now for just sitting and binge watching tv like i haven't done it all week this week has been like a crazy work week like there is nothing i'm actually like slightly concerned for my sanity because there is there's really not been a lot of me time this week like if i'm not filming i'm editing if i'm not doing either of those things i'm usually cooking or eating or editing whilst eating because i start my course next week and things are just like a little bit crazy right now which is it's like the most exciting but also just there is so much that needs to be done and I actually can't remember the last time I like took some time, just like alone time to just, you know, sit, be with my thoughts. Anyway, my point being, I am in need of some just like really good chill time, like just, just, you know, where you zone out and you're just like, calm and peaceful and like content i i am craving that kind of time at home and if that craving wasn't bad enough already it is now even worse because i'm very excited to tell you this our sky stream arrived this week 
This video, by the way, is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with Sky, which I'm so excited about. I'm not even joking. I put in the order with their team on the phone at 9 p.m. and it arrived the next day at 10 40 a.m. I have never known next day delivery like that. Like that is incredible. And now it's like all set up. It was so, so easy to set up. And all I wanna do is just be on my sofa, watching the telly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward, like I love love an engagement party, love, you know, like a social occasion, but, but I am also just really craving being on my sofa right now, more than anything. Obviously, it's still love you, George and Lily, but I can't lie, I am so excited to get some sofa time in. There's so many things that I want to watch, but anyway. Not for now, that's for later. I am really looking forward to tonight. I love it when people have engagement parties. Like I really don't know that many people that do it when they get engaged now. And I am one of those people that by the time I eventually do get engaged, by the way, hurry up Ryan. Uh, if you're listening to this whilst I'm editing this in the house, please do us all a favor, hurry up. We want the wedding content. I will be one of those people that will make as many social occasions and reasons to host my friends out of that life moment as physically possible. And I'm really glad that they are doing this because like none, none of our friends do it enough. Like they're just so chill and so casual. Like, oh yeah, just getting married, just getting married. So as much as my introverted bum just wants to be <laughs> on the sofa for five minutes. I am really, really looking forward to it. I am of course going to be wearing an all black outfit. What else? This is actually one of my ways in which I have been getting ready so much faster recently. Like last week, we actually were just by the skin of our teeth on time. And it was because I now have like a kind of outfit formula that I've started going for over like the winter to spring transitional period of basically like a black dress and the same black boots and then like a black coat or jacket and it has been working an absolute treat so hopefully my all black outfit that i've picked out for this evening will be the first thing that i put on and i will be ready at the speed of light just like i was last week I did ask for the dress code and the boys have been conversating about the dress code so being the males that they are i got a very i would say unhelpful dress code of uh just casual but smart but look nice like yeah okay that's not really that helpful is it so i'm gonna keep the outfit really nice and simple i'm gonna keep my makeup really nice and simple we need to sort out my hair this is the dregs of my waves that i've been wearing this week so i need to decide what to do with that i can't decide whether to pull it all back into a ponytail High ponytail, low ponytail, leave it down, low bun. Oh my God. Also, more of my H&M order has started to arrive. So I'm gonna show you that on, uh, will I show you that? Hopefully tomorrow. I can't wait to show you what I picked up. I think I'm just waiting on like one more thing and I'm hoping that turns up in time. But if not, I will uh, insert a clip of it at the end of the try-ons. It will be fine. It's all gonna be fine. I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on to blend that out. Like, look at the skin glow that is just wow i'm actually really sad that i didn't realize that it was good friday today because good friday is like one of my favorite like i prefer good friday to christmas and i know that is a bold claim there but when i was a kid christmas used to be taken over by football because my dad would referee uh, in addition to his full-time job, he was also a referee and he was all around the country every single weekend, but it included like some holidays, including like Christmas. So he'd quite often be away on Boxing Day. And I feel like Good Friday was the one day that there was just no, because it's a Friday, I guess. I don't, I don't really remember why, but there was never football and we'd always get to like go out and do something as a family. There was a lot of chocolate as well, which probably helped the uh, positive association with Good Friday. I've, like been positively reinforced over the years to love it, but it was always nice weather and it's really nice weather today. And it was just the best time because we never got to really do things as a family of four, like all that much. But I always remember really, really loving it. And so I always like to do something nice on Good Friday and I completely forgot that that was today. And now I'm a bit sad 
because I feel like there should have at least been like a brunch or something like that that we did today but here we are this Merit Beauty Mascara is just insane. Like I know I talk about it a lot, but sometimes I just need to repeat myself. I actually can't believe I start my course next week. Like the next vlog that you see will be of that. And I actually, I can't believe it's come around so quickly and I'm starting to get so nervous now. I know it's not going to be like school like the reason i picked it is because it's not going to feel <laughs> like school but school was not my uh it was not a safe place for me it's not a system that was uh designed for people like me and i can't lie i think i might still be like affected by my experience of school because i'm starting to get like nervous feelings that definitely feel like linked to uh the experience that i had especially when it comes to like people like will the people be nice i'm really really nervous about like the social aspect of it i guess but i'm sure it'll be fine i emailed them earlier and the person that will be uh teaching us seems really nice um and i just like you know when you can tell someone's like tone of voice in an email and i was like yeah no i think this is i think this is gonna be okay wow the huda beauty powder and this base combo that is lush love that so yeah it's all gonna be fine it's all in my head but if any of you have um kind of gone back into like a learning environment after leaving it and having like the most horrendous time i'm sure you'll i'm sure you'll get it i am always so envious of people that love school or that just didn't have an awful time and were able to like stay in the education system for longer but that's not me and that's why we're going back at the age of 31 to learn something new i actually talked about this in the podcast uh, that i recorded the other day but i kind of want to say it here because the podcast isn't going to launch for a little while anyway but just remember i probably will say this again next week but just remember that it's not too late it's never too late to do something that you want to do it's not too late and you have time. This clay de po highlight is fast becoming one of my favorites. It's just like so soft and natural, but just so pretty. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna do a little bit of this Beauty Pie lip crayon. A nice like mauve pinky brown color. Matte, but not too matte. So it's just like nice and hydrating. And then I'm gonna put a matte lipstick over the top. I just love that kind of combo at the moment. Works really nicely with like the blush. And now we need to sort out my hair. Can't wait to do the whole hair wash, mask routine tomorrow. Gonna be delicious. I'm so excited to have a chill Saturday. Okay, we've got a little bit of a Hermione Granger situation going on, but that's fine. We can fix this. <laughs> I've just used the VO5 Mega Gel Hold Spray to finish off. We have had plenty of heat protectant all over my head because this is like the second or is this the second or third time I've done this style this week and I'm just very cautious of my hair. So doused in heat protectant and I used the Beauty Works waving wand on 140 degrees. Sorry, just turning it off. Uh, very important because I didn't want to overheat my hair and because there was already a wave I just kind of followed what was already there. Although I do feel like I forgot to miss the ends which is also very important because this gel spray is really good for like stopping frizz and those are the bits that tend to get a bit frizzy for me. For me it's important to make sure this stuff goes 
all over my hair so that it doesn't just like stop growing and i sprayed each layer as well so hopefully this will hold and stay and we'll be all good i don't want to alarm anyone but i am ready early which never happens and ryan's in the studio so whilst he's not here to be like i think i have time to chill so let's go make a cup of tea and chill out together I have actually made a decent cup of tea for once. This honestly never happens. Hi baby. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Are we on the sofa? Are we cuddling? I love to cuddle. Do you want to watch some Sky? Should we watch? No. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> I'm living my best cozy life right now. This is unreal. I'm going to get ready early every time we have to go out absolute goals anyway i have a lot of things that i want to binge watch i'm desperate to watch succession and there's a few seasons i believe for me to binge on however i think that is going to be our saturday activity tomorrow because this is the kind of thing that i do not want to start without ryan because i will either have to catch him up and depending on how many episodes in i am nightmare and i just feel like it's not as fun if you've got to like verbally catch someone up um or it means we have to start again and again depending on how far in you've gotten not goals so i think succession is going to be our binge watch of the day tomorrow what a saturday i'm do we get a pizza maybe maybe we get a pizza i hope that happens i sincerely truly deep down in the bottom of my heart pray that that happens i think it's going to be an emily in paris afternoon that way as well if ryan comes in and tells me off for the fact that i am clearly not getting ready um i can just switch off and i'm not like in the thick of something that i think is really good also if i get really sucked into succession i am then not going to want to go out uh and <laughs> that's not going to be good i'm going to be watching it on my sky stream my new sky stream which i'm literally so buzzing about having i feel like the ultimate grown up right now because i've never had sky before and since i've moved out i've actually not had live tv channels so this feels like super super grown up for me i'm so excited but the sky stream is like perfect for me for a number of reasons number one it's like the sky glass it's got all of the sky glass software but without the having the tv just in this little diamond puck it's incredible and it's essentially sky without the dish but that to me does not do it justice it is so much more like there's so much that you get with it so we now have live tv it comes with so many apps like inbuilt in it we get netflix included in it we get access to all things sky like ryan is over the moon to have sports i am over the moon to have sky atlantic like it is so good the actual setup of it is so easy like i did it over the phone with them and can i just say i have never enjoyed a customer service experience so much it was literally the easiest setup of my whole entire life and the team was so nice and then the product literally arrived like i said earlier i ordered it at 9 p.m at night and it arrived at 10 40 the next day like when people say next day delivery but you're like going through that process in the evening i just really didn't think that that was actually gonna happen but it really i was like i have not experienced next day delivery like that in a very 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 long time and then the at home setup of it as well so so easy you literally just plug it in and then turn on your tv and you can set it up straight away and it literally takes no time at all we literally we turned it on and we were like rolling almost straight away it was incredible so i'm super super happy with it so far and with this you can also cancel anytime as well so there's no like crazy contracts or anything like that it's just so good i could not like i have wanted a sky glass for so long but i actually i didn't need a new tv TV and this is just like the perfect solution for me here we go <gasps> i mean look at this straight away right at the top ryan hurley this has obviously got something to do with you honestly this is the coolest thing oh my god i am filled with joy right now this is everything i don't even know where to start i feel like i need to stick to what i originally said because otherwise I am actually going to really mess up our evening plans and we're going to be late. Hang on, I just need to do one thing. I have always wanted to be one of these YouTubers, so please let me have my moment. Succession. Why do I use my podcast voice? That's so weird. Look at that. Look at that! 
so cool i got that is so cool i know that's not what you get it for but i think it is so so good game of thrones Like, never ever again am I going to have to spend ages trying to get to the show I want to watch. Like, you can have everything on here. Literally, like, your Netflix, your Disney+. Plus. I spend so long searching for the things that I want to watch on Disney+. Plus. Not anymore. My TV watching is about to become so efficient. My life is made. Anyway. <laughs> Emily in Paris. If anyone needs me... I'll be here if I suddenly get really unproductive in life over the next couple of months. We all have Sky to blame. This is what it looks like, by the way. Really super small and compact, like, honestly, teeny weeny. And it sits really, really nicely just at the base of our TV. Perfect. Okay, I am ready. I'm wearing a Zara black dress. This is fairly old now but i've kept it in my wardrobe because i just think it's just such a lovely classic like the way it is shaped to have the it's like there's no padding to these shoulders but it still has like a structure with the draping and it just falls really beautifully like i have such a free baby right now and you can't even tell i was going to wear another outfit the other one of the two black dresses that i'm basically like rotating at the moment for my friday night antics and it was like a silkier dress so it really showed the food baby so we've just deviated straight back to this one which luckily had literally just dried from being out the wash so very very thankful for that and then i've got a pair of black tights black boots from stuart wiseman i'm taking my valentino bag um i really like the fact that the hardware on this is black so i can kind of wear it with um gold accents or with silver so i'm wearing gold today because of the gold buttons on the dress and i've got my gold earrings in chunky gold jewelry i will link everything below not that it's in focus but i will link everything so yeah that is my outfit of the evening this is such a good staple one i'm so happy that i have this in my wardrobe i almost forgot perfume this is my go-to bougie fragrance at the moment it's ysl sleek suede it basically it smells like smokiness and like chocolate and it's just unreal i very rarely get like asked in the street what my fragrance is but i do with this one honestly i could not recommend it enough there's so much in here that is a crazy big bottle like it's 125 ml mad but yeah it's delicious even the packaging like makes it look like a chocolate bar can you believe i'm ready on time on time i am on time just that you ready yeah yeah Good morning everybody. I am I feel like I say this in every vlog, but I am genuinely like so tired today. I don't think I got to bed until nearly three in the morning and I was so sober last night. So I, this is so funny considering I like did half my skincare routine. Like I got the moisturizer on that I put on before my skin and me and then I just fell asleep. So yeah, skin's not looking too great this morning. I'm feeling very tired this morning. My dog also got me up at 6.30 because her body clock is all over the place because of the clocks going forward that we move. It is a lovely sunny Saturday and classic me, I have zero outdoor activities planned. All I wanna do is be on my sofa today. I've also just remembered that it's Easter weekend now, so I cannot wait to crack open a chocolate egg. Sofa, chocolate egg, binge watch TV. My perfect weekend. It is finally time. I have had this saved for months. Does anyone else just have to smash up their Easter egg before they eat it? Like this is my favorite way to eat an Easter egg. 
Let's go. Woo! I've told Ryan that today we are binge watching Succession. So here we go. This will never get old to me. Succession. There it is. Cracking into the Easter egg already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's chocolate involved in on that. <laughs> Here we go. I've literally heard everyone talking about this, so this has been like on my Easter weekend radar forever. Look at him tending to the veg. He's been so excited to get these veggies in the planter. Interrupting my afternoon of lounging on the sofa to bring you a H&M haul. They very kindly let me raid their press office the other day, which is like my dream. My dream now, but also baby Suze was like obsessed with H&M when she was younger. Like I lived and breathed everything H&M. So it was quite literally a dream come true for me. And I picked up some amazing bits. There's one item in particular that I'm obsessed with, but it has not arrived yet. If it does, I will insert it uh, at the end of all of these try-ons. So if I look a bit different in one clip, that's why. But yeah, it's the most gorgeous black top with like roses on the chest. Stunning. But yeah, sadly, not been shipped yet. That is the one downside with H&M. Their shipping is generally quite slow. So I picked up bits from their showroom, but I also ordered a lot of the website that has arrived. So we're going to go through that as well. They actually... Are... These are... Hello, beauty pie. Woo! What a great day. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but they now do like all of the H&M brands on H&M, which is very convenient. I like it. So excited to get into those. Okay, let's start with the press office stuff. I firstly got this dress, which is such a gorgeous, you may have seen this on my stories. It's like a gorgeous asymmetric top half, like midi dress, but on me it kind of is somewhere between a midi and a maxi but i love this it's so simple but looks like so put together really nice and chic a really nice one for like summer dinners uh like especially if you're away um but just in general i think like the material of this it's not like super super thin it's not too lightweight so i think it lends itself really nicely for evenings but also just like a dressier day during the summer where you want to look really cool i think i got this in an extra small and it is quite like floaty yeah i got it in an extra small it's quite floaty so i don't feel like you really need to size up in it um, unless you want like a little bit more room over the hips because it does fall quite straight. But yeah, I love the ruched shoulder on it. It's just beautiful. And I also love them with these platform chunky shoes. I thought these were just a really nice easy piece to have in my wardrobe over the summer. And they give me a little bit of extra height as well, but are still super, super easy to walk in, which I love. I also got this two piece, uh, which I mainly love, like I'm obsessed with the blazer it is gorgeous i got this in an extra small it's so sweet it's like a kind of linen-esque feel but i don't know if it's actually a linen but it's got this really cool like striped detailing down it which i really liked and there's a matching skirt with it as well what size have i got oh damn that's the wrong size i'll have it taken in that'll be fine but yeah um i'll show you i'll pull this in at the back when i show you it i'll clip it but yeah i'm gonna have to have this taken in but yeah such a cute little two-piece a really nice one for summer i especially love the blazer with these trousers which i mentioned earlier they're like a cargo trouser and i love a black pair of cargo trousers like a baggy black trouser i really really love i think it looks quite nice on my shape and i have a pair that are like wide leg but these are just a little bit more tapered at the bottom and they're high-waisted and they like are a little bit more tailored at the waist than my other cargo trousers which are like an elasticated waistband so these just look a little bit more pulled together overall that's the kind of overall feel you get from it but the cargo aspect of them just makes them a little bit more relaxed but these also these look so good with the blazer the cropped cream blazer but they also look so good with the top that has not arrived yet like so good i also got some sunnies where are my sunnies got these which you may have seen if you watched the last vlog i just think they are so cool i love the fact that they have that kind of ray-ban-esque uh gold frame and like slightly transparent 
lens to them but they're a completely different shape and they just feel like very modern but like i love a cat eye i just think it suits my face shape really nicely and then got this cute little basic tee from and other stories which will look so nice with all of the trousers that i have picked up because i basically had a huge restock of trousers i am on the hunt for the perfect pair of wide leg trousers it's something that i i have a few of in my wardrobe but they're just not fitting right or they're like more catered towards winter because they're heavier so i picked up a couple of pairs and i went for classic black obviously got a nice wide leg nice and like cinched in at the waist really hoping that that waistline fits me well i got these in a size 36 oh look do they have pockets oh yes amazing i think these might be okay on the leg as well but if not like they're going to be they're that kind of material that are going to be so easy for me to take up with some wonderweb so that is great so i've got a black pair and then i also picked up this like gray blue pair which i thought for spring and summer would just be such a nice alternative i also got another t-shirt again just one of these really classic kind of fitted cropped t-shirts just really great basics to have in my wardrobe i really like these ones as well because they're not too cropped whereas before i've had a lot of t-shirts which are like from zara really great zara basics but they're very very cropped um so these are just a little bit longer and like perfect for like tucking into trousers and then finally from h&m i picked up this ribbed jersey t-shirt dress which i thought would just be a really perfect easy piece to have for spring and summer this will just look so nice so the leather jacket's thrown over the top on cooler days but i can also just wear it on its own if it's nice and warm and it's just like one of those really easy pieces to throw on and it'll look great with a pair of sandals i'm hoping the length yeah the length's gonna be great it's basically maxi or me but it'll be midi on everybody else um and i got this in a size small this whole order is making me feel like i need a summer holiday Pronto. all the weather hit just needs to warm up very very quickly and then i also picked up this cute little basic top i just love the color of this and i like the fact that it's like a very uh kind of like cinched in razor style tank top i find that a little bit more flattering than when it cuts your arm straight um but yeah loved the beigey tone of this so much i got this in a size small and again just thought that it would be perfect with a pair of wide leg trousers and then just like a leather jacket thrown over the top the funnest bit is getting the summer bags out to like try on with bits like this what would you go for a little wicker one which i really like because it really stands out or a simple little saddle bag also just love these shoes they're just a really nice ugly summer shoe like they're chunky they're comfy and they're gonna be great when i want a heel but i don't want a heel oh my god <laughs> this is the most fun also can we take a moment for the back i love this outfit so much i think it's so fun i'm definitely gonna have the skirt taken in because this is just like the cutest summer two-piece i absolutely love it however it does also look amazing with just like the blazer and a black pair of trousers i also love like the flared sleeve on this i just think it makes such a cool extra added touch and how long the sleeves are love that i think it's such a nice touch and makes it feel like a little bit more modern so these are the cargo trousers i love how they fit around the waist like the shape of these is amazing because they there's just so much room over the hips and thighs, but it really cinches in at the waist. And that is just my dream fit as someone that has like a wider hip and thigh ratio to waist. Like this is the, the perfect fit. I've just thrown on a black tank top with it, which is actually the tank top that I was wearing when I went to the press office the other day. I like how there's just like a tiny little bit of tummy, but nothing too crazy. These have pockets also, which... I am obsessed with in terms of length they're a little bit long for me which is not going to surprise anyone but i think they'll be really easy to take up and if not my tailors will be able to take them up a breeze and for the quality i'd be happy to do that with these and pay the little bit extra just to have them fit perfect that would be ideal and like i said this just also looks so cool with 
the cream blazer. I love this, like, especially when I put the sunnies on in the showroom as well. I was like, yeah, this is my, like, spring, summer vibe to a T. I just love a little bit of tailoring. I actually think that on me, in addition to, like, great basics, this is a style that suits me the most. Like, just real streamlined, like, sharp clean lines I think just suits me the best basically anything that is quite minimal I do think suits me the best sadly because my heart loves maximalism in clothing but actually I think I suit the most simple styles of things the best but this is like nice and simple but without being boring and I love that oh I'm sad about this t-shirt I feel like these shoulders are just a bit off I can't tell if the top's too big or too small but can you see that it's so weird i don't know if that means it's too big or too small i'm not sure but i feel like it's maybe because it's too big because it's quite these are meant to be fitted and it's quite big on my waist but that just doesn't make sense to me because the point is coming up not off my shoulder so that would say to me it's too small or is it just because i have wide shoulders i don't know maybe it's just the cut isn't quite i don't i don't really know i really like the arm length on these. Um, I love a t-shirt arm length that comes down a little bit lower. I love the overall like look of it. Love t-shirt and trousers so much but yeah I'm not sure if I have got the right size or not. Yes this with really simple gold jewellery would just be such a nice easy go-to spring summer look and i think this will just look quite cool with like a leather jacket when it's a little bit cooler so i need to double check where these are meant to sit because where they sit on me is like kind of it's an okay point it's slightly awkward i feel like if it was high waisted and cinched like this that would be perfect like that is my dream like waist snatch scenario maybe maybe i'll just get these tailored I don't, I don't know. These are a 36, so I'm thinking maybe they just aren't meant to be like high waisted, but they're also not like sitting lower on me. They're kind of, I don't know. I don't know if this sits at a weird point or if this is okay, but I love how much room there is over the hips and thighs. Like just love that. I love the giant pockets on it. And in terms of the length as well, this isn't so bad. I think I could just like have it taken up ever so slightly and these would be perfect for wearing with trainers but also wearing with a little heel as well. This would also look very cute with the little cream blazer too, which I'm very happy about. I am tempted to go a size down in them though and just see if they do sit better on the waist because that would be the dream. This t-shirt is slightly see-through, I can't lie. It's so fitted, which is amazing, but because it's so fitted, it's kind of like shearing out over the boobs so nipple covers definitely needed with this but i love the fit it looks so nice with a pair of black trousers as well this black t-shirt black trousers chunky sandals and then a little black summery bag is just the cutest outfit yeah this is this is it this is my spring summer vibe like i've just i have nailed it I love this, it's so timeless as well. So these are things that I'll get so much wear out of for such a long time. Like these black trousers as well, like the quality of them is so nice. These are by far the nicest quality black trousers I've ever had. I have another pair that I love, but they're like a wool material. So it really doesn't work for me over the summer. I just don't know if I love the color of these as much. I might send these back. I'm just not loving this color on me. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan, not a fan. And then we have the little beige top, which I think is like the perfect kind of beige. I was a bit worried that it might wash me out slightly, but actually if it was any warmer, it basically could look like I'm not wearing a top. So I think the fact that it's a slightly cooler tone actually is for the best, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, love it with the black trousers. I think it's just such a nice, easy go-to outfit. This coupled with the Skims Basics haul that I did in my, was that my last video? Getting dressed in the morning is just gonna become so, so easy. Sometimes I think you definitely have to have 
a little bit of a basics refresh in order to just kind of like make getting ready in the morning super simple and streamlined and yeah my basics wardrobe definitely needed a little bit of an update i definitely think the fit is everything it's what i've come to realize more and more now i just need to really hone in on like how well my basics are fitting because when they fit everything else just like looks so good i'm really giving like gardener vibes right now aren't i like, it's a good gardener outfit yeah so we've got rainbow carrots so excited chard what are these lettuce. gem lettuces yeah baby gem are they called baby gem yeah yeah and black kale black kale is that i think that's what it's called yeah black Kale. I thought I picked up like Nero. Nero. I'm so excited for these. Like we've never done like some of these veggies, like chard. Rainbow chard was uh, Josie's suggestion in the garden this year. So thank you, Jose. Like you know how it goes. If it goes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm really excited for shallots. <laughs> I think because it, it feels like something that I'll use a lot. I will though, I think like making sauces and pastas and... Yeah, I never buy shallots, but I think I'm just excited about the stuff that grows in the ground. So then when you have the big reveal, yeah. or the not so big reveal as the carrots from last time. Shrimpy. <laughs> I feel like me vlogging is just like dad on holiday vibes. I'm just like, <laughs> pan to something and you still record rolling? yeah <laughs> i'm leaving that in yeah you are giving like you're giving my mum in like her vhs video yeah not really saying much but just panning and like didn't mention that is where the tomatoes are going to go as well oh yeah ta-da one of my climbing plants died so i'm using the sticks but that's going to be where the tomatoes will go once we plant them the tomatoes in the kitchen are thriving which i'm very happy about uh, so hopefully we're going to get a lot of nice cherry tomatoes this summer. I think we should buy more tomatoes though. Ryan was strict on how many veggies we were coming home with, but I think I want more tomato plants. Yeah, I would be up for more tomatoes. I just think it's not the biggest planter, is it? No, but and I think if I could plant a couple like and have them... Yeah, because they go up, I guess. They don't take up space, do they? Yeah. I just love tomatoes. I eat them so much. I think it's worth like yeah the investment in our time um yeah carrots are done now i just need to do these herbs right what herbs have we got me, so i'm taking over yeah <laughs> close to it's the too bread. low for me i need it like double <laughs> it would up be to your shoulders would be and you would not be able to use it it just wouldn't look great either like this is yeah cool. true this is like the most refreshing thing i love seeing this veg bed like it, like filled with like potential. That's what I love. Filled with potential. That's what, you, you don't know what it's gonna be like <laughs> by the end of the summer. It's so fun. But I just love it. Should I stop filming you now? Big thumbs up from me. So the chef is over here and I, I like I'm always impressed, but I am very impressed today. You have made a bacon ketchup bacon ketchup so, so you said you wanted honest burger i did that was my request create honest burger i love you sort it put in their burgers i actually got a different cheese initially and then saw on their website that they use applewood oh do they so oh. apple applewood is the best cheese they use this bacon as well for the beef bacon love that and yeah the bacon ketchup is always the ketchup vegan bacon Pickle juice, oh. uh, some rosemary salt, 
um, barbecue sauce. I don't know if that's Unreal. what they actually do it on, but it tastes good. It, yeah, it tastes incredible. I just dipped some cheese into it because I'm being an absolute savage right now and I'm starving. And it tasted so good. You're making it out as if you're eating a slice of cheese whilst then it's being cooked, isn't Well, it? no, I was just eating pickles out the jar and eating cheese out the packet and I feel like that is just like really childish, isn't it? Yeah. I am an absolute child. Like I can't, is anyone else like this? Like I can't just, not snack on the dinner whilst I'm making the dinner. Like we go through double the ingredients because I eat half the dinner before it's actually like been cooked. Uh, I think that's normal. I think. Well, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chef's treat, isn't it? Chef's treat. I like that. Perfect. Mmm. <laughs> wait for this, and then we've got rosemary fries, just like an honest burger, and they look so good. So, burger tips. You need cheese. Burger. So you get the pan nice and hot, put the cheese on the burgers, cold water, lid on. It gets a bit loud, but steams the cheese, gets it all nice and melty. I do not attempt this because I'm I need adult That's supervision. Really wow! Oh my god! That's insane, that was so quick. Just stealing Brian's sliders and I'm gonna show you quickly how the veg patch is looking whilst he is in there chefing. It's not looking like super fruitful right now, but that's to be expected. Everything has been planted in. The clematis has also been planted in. Need to take the tag off, but yeah, we got there. And then I need to tidy up, but we decided to take the lavender that was in this veg patch and I was gonna take it to Ryan's and replant it but then he th just kind of threw them up against the side of the house when he was like ripping them out and I just thought they looked kind of like nice with the outside of the house and I knew that the garden center did um, pots that were in this color um, so we just went and grabbed a couple of these like they're quite large pots so that hello <laughs> Um, but yeah, we went for quite a large size because we didn't really realize how big the lavender in the veg patch had got. We got two nice big pots. Yeah, we now have the lavender that has not gone to waste. Hopefully it will take to being repotted or whatever, being moved. I'm confident that it will be fine. It's a very robust plant, really. And yeah, then we have the rest of the garden, which is now looking nice and neat. Everything has been planted in and I'm really excited for it's all hopefully start blooming soon. Like honestly, these are huge. Like just for reference, here's my foot. They are ginormous. Wow. I mean, earlier I said, oh, it's not the same when you have it at home, but Ryan's really gone and said, challenge accepted. Hold my beer. Look at that. Ooh. Unreal. Good morning. That burger, delicious. So good. Oh, I'm fuzzy. Oh, there we go. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I feel like it's been yet another week of gardening and trying on clothes, but I hope you're all enjoying that. Um, we'll definitely be doing something very, very different in the next vlog. So yeah, I hope you come back and join me for that because I'll be telling you all about my course, what I'm doing, what I'm getting up to. So yeah, check back for that. I think that will be up on Wednesday. We should be back to two a week. I'm trying, I'm gonna try my best. Um, even though I have a couple of trips, I'm going to try my best to try and get back to two videos a week. So you'll find out everything on Wednesday. I can't wait to finally tell you everything. I hope you're all having the best weekend and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.